Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Windows 11's snipping tool, and as an example, we activate it using Win Shift and S, the keyboard shortcut, you can select a portion of your screen to capture as a screenshot, and then you'll have the option to mark up and share, where it takes you into the snipping tool app and you've got different annotate options and so on. That's how it currently has been up until recently. Now, back in August, I'll let you know that Windows 11's snipping tool will soon let you draw on screen in real time. As an example, live annotations, not after you've taken the screenshot. And that was a new feature in the Insider channel that was busy being tested. Now, just to let you know that the live annotation, also known as Quick Markup is now available in the stable version of the snipping tool. So if we head back to Win Shift and S, you will see there's a new option, Quick Markup. You can also use Control and E as a quick keyboard shortcut. And if we click on that, and we now select an area, you will see we can now annotate before we take the screenshot. So it doesn't capture the screenshot directly, as I just demonstrated. You can see a floating bar with those annotate options below the selected area with multiple buttons and options. So just to go through these quickly, we've got capture, save to, copy only. You can share. You can do a visual search with Bing. You can ask Copilot, ballpoint pen, highlighter, eraser. You can add shapes. You can undo and then you can actually delete the screen snippet so let's just do a live annotation so you get the general idea and then i can now capture and we can see it's done the live annotation before i've taken the screenshot and not like i showed you at the beginning of the video where we could only do this after taking the screenshot so just a quick video to let you know that that feature is available now in case you're unaware now, I have seen a couple of comments on the channel regarding this feature. If you can do it after the screenshot, why would you want to do it before the screenshot? Maybe it could be a bit of a time saver. Who knows? But nonetheless, that option is now available. The quick markup tool, giving you live annotations, is now available in the snipping tool and just making you aware of that in case you didn't know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.